This morning I'd like to preach from the topic, a little gratitude goes a long way. A little gratitude goes a long way. If you were with us on Friday, you will remember that we preached a sermon entitled An Attitude of Gratitude. That the video from Friday will be on the website on the next day or so. But in that we recall Jesus reaching out and cleansing ten lepers. And the ten lepers were cleansed and they went off and only one came back with an attitude of gratitude and said thank you. And because of that gratitude, that one leper was not only cleansed, but made whole, was healed. Cleansing is temporary. Healing is permanent. And so as we wrestled with that sermon, I wanted to preach again about gratitude because I think it's one of the misnomers of life that we often take for granted. And so this, this afternoon's passage comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. A very familiar passage, but I hope that we will glean something that's slightly different than what the attention has been on in the past. If you have your iPhones and Androids and iPads, you can pull up your app with uh, John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. And if you use an analog a Bible like myself, you can get the page turned to John 6, uh, 1 through 14. And if you don't have a Bible, praise God, I will read it to you. I will read it to you cheerfully. I'm glad to do so. John chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the sign that he was doing on the city. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes, thin and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him. For he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, 200 denarii would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there, there, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But, but, but what, are they, what, what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down, about 5,000 in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled 12 baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. I want to repeat just for your hearing verse 11. Jesus then took the loaves and when He distributed them to those who received. So also the fish, as much as they did. A little gratitude goes a long way. This passage occurs in the second year of Jesus' ministry. And, and, and how do we know that? We know that because the Gospel of John records three Passover seasons. Three Passover festivals, and this is the second of the three Passover festivals. The first, Jesus went to Jerusalem. The second Passover, he hung back in Galilee. And then the third one, we know he goes back to Jerusalem. Why is this important? All along, Jesus is traveling the world, essentially. And he's doing his father's business. And Jesus, by this time, had gathered a huge following. 
a huge following of disciples. So we know that he has the 12 disciples, but then he has a whole flock of thousands of other disciples who aren't talked about as much. So there's a crowd who's following Jesus. Jesus is, 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 is working so hard that in verse 1 we find that Jesus wants to actually get away from the crowd just for a little bit. So he gets on the boat, and instead of walking around the Sea of Galilee, he gets on the boat by himself. And he just takes his time, just chill. I mean, you know, if his brother had a yacht or something, or, you know, a, a sailboat, I mean, you know, put the sail up full mass and just lay back and let the wind take him across the sea. But when he got to the other side, he didn't realize that the, the swarm of people was so big and they were so hungry for what he was teaching, what he was doing, that they had walked around the entire sea just to catch up to him. So he gets off the boat. And he looks around over the hill, and there they are, over 5,000. You know, the Bible has this kind of chauvinistic thing in there where it only counts the men, right? So, so there's 5,000 men plus some more thousand women plus a whole bunch of thousands of children, right? And so he looks, and, and I don't know about y'all, but I would have been like, oh, man. But Jesus looks, and he says, Robust, you know. This was Passover time. This was unleavened bread. It's like a cracker. 
Because that giving spirit, that giving spirit. And so Jesus takes it. And this is what I'm trying to get to right here. Jesus takes it. And without thinking about how am I going to do this, and without thinking about how this is going to happen, and without thinking about I have so little and there's so many, what does he do? 